This is part three of the Saturday skate. We are now on 25th Street in Southwest Philly. We've crossed the Schuylkill. We're heading towards Citizens Bank Park. We're actually heading towards Chickies and Pete's, which is off of Packer Avenue. You can see the, uh, the kids riding bikes around us. Kind of picked up a little bit of a fan club along the way, so to speak. And that happens on occasion with the skaters. We'll get, we've had people on longboards. We've had people on bikes. Uh, and skates who will skate along with us for a while and then peel off out of curiosity. But let's face it, none of them are going to skate a full 10, 15 miles. So I've never seen anybody kind of jump in and just stay with us out of the curiosity factor. It's one of those things where the skate clubs should have business cards to hand out and give to everybody along the way. So you can tell them where we meet weekly so you can skate. But uh, again, it's one of those things where I don't think that many of the clubs are that uh, that interested in, in you know outreach at this point I don't know why but I myself actually for the Wednesday night skate in New York uh, out of pocket uh, ordered about 500 or maybe a thousand cards and uh, put all the instructions on one side with the logo and their Facebook information on the other side and give the to them the handout uh, for people around New York I, I believe the landscapers should do the same thing maybe they will at some point so we're breaking here, breaking away here off of 25th Street, and we're heading now. We're going to start zigzagging across South Philly towards Citizens Bank Park. Now, we will eventually actually go there after we leave Chickies and Pete's, but at this point, it's, uh, it's one of those things where we're trying to get to the halfway point. And um, this skate was actually designed to be closer to 20 miles, but unfortunately, or uh, fortunately maybe, who knows, depends on how tired we all were, um, it did start to rain, and we were watching our uh, we were watching our smartphones on, on weather radar for the the um, rain showers passing through, and we knew that we needed to at that point after the halfway point head straight back down to Center City. So the skate ended up at about 16 or 17 miles, I believe, in total. So again, uh, this is uh, I guess the the real South Philly. I mean, you can see how there's a lot of neighborhoods with a lot of, uh, and again, when I say neighborhoods, I mean like family oriented neighborhoods as opposed to just blight, and a lot of uh, ball fields and parks along the way. Um, maybe we just ha were smart enough to skate near parks, so it looked like Philly was a much happier place. <laughs> and even then, I can't, I, I'm not a city, I couldn't live, I couldn't live in a city like this. I, it's just me. I, I, I I need uh, I need some country living or some semi-urban living. Uh, I have woods behind our house. I've always had woods around wherever I've gone. I need some trees, but I love the cities. I love to uh, I love to play in them. So at this point, I think we're approaching like Passyunk Avenue. We're we're in that general vicinity. We're all, if we haven't crossed it yet, we're going to. I think it might be right here. No no no. No, Passion could be a double, but you get the general idea. And at that point, so I guess right now we're considering West Passionk. I would put us somewhere in the neighborhood of 22nd or 21st Street. At this point, we've we've bounced a couple streets over, and we've we're kind of pushing further and further, closer and closer towards Broad Street as we as we make this move. This I believe might be Passionk. And another moment where we're actually stopping for traffic. Damn skaters. You know what's fascinating here is that these people have been skating since they were punk kids probably. I mean most of us have been skating since our teens. It's many many years of skating and it's one of those things I mean you could just you could say arrested development in some some ways but uh, quite frankly I've, I've found the land skaters to be a very serious lot. They're uh as I stated before, shut up and skate. And I'm I'm actually kind of happy with that phrase. I think it's cute. I think it's funny. But I I wouldn't want to be uptight about it. So we're skating now through southwest Philly, zigzagging closer and closer to Chickies and Pete's and, so, and the, the, uh, the for sports complex. This is really kind of where we're headed. And this is the heart of South Philly. We've actually stumbled upon a funeral here where a couple of the skaters got into an argument about whether or not we should just skate along with them until we break away naturally or should we just pull over and let them through it was an interesting argument it's it spiced up the day 
I'm not going to say any names. It's not worth it. And I actually just don't want to say any names because I don't think it's polite either. Now we're about to skate under the Schuylkill here. So this is pretty cool. We're going to come up uh, up on Packer Avenue. So if you've ever gone to any of the Phillies games or football games, you are probably very familiar with Packer Avenue and the Schuylkill. Did you know this was here? A little uh, walkway and it's even lit inside. So when we come out here on Packer, we're going to take a left and then we're going to skate up the road and we're going to be at Chickies and Pete's. Now, if, if you are not familiar with what it's like to skate with groups in the city and you're wondering, you know, what type of skates should you have? Because you've probably seen me go on about my skates with the 125 millimeter wheels and long frames and short cuffs. It's not necessary. In fact, it's, it, it, I am the oddball in the lot. Uh, the only advantage I really have over any of these skaters is what is if we were to be skating down hills uh, or at higher speeds where I'd need some more stability. The fact is they have a, a greater advantage over me and they can skate just as fast as me. I have not seen any of the 80 millimeter wheels or 92 millimeter wheels or 100s for that matter not keep up or do better than what I skate on. It's not a matter of that. Uh, for me, actually, I think it really comes down to two things. Um, bearings and uh, and your form. You know, if you've got good form and you expend the least amount of energy and pushing off, you can really go. Uh, but, a, but a clean set of bearings is also a big help. I'll talk about that more in the next video segment. In the next segment, we're going to essentially go towards South, I'm sorry, Central Philly, and we're going to skate through a number of uh, parades. Uh, this is a weekend that this uh, Philly Free Skate always falls on the same weekend as the Gay Pride Parade, so it's always an interesting experience when we have to skate through that. And that is coming up. It's too much for any man! <laughs>